What is up everybody? In this video I want to go over what I think is one of the most underrated skills in Madden and that is pocket presence. So right here we're going to take a look at Problems Pocket Presence. He was playing Serious Mo round of 16 of the Madden 17 Championship Tournament and I think pocket presence is overlooked because it's something that's hard to notice if you aren't really kind of an advanced Madden player. A more casual players won't even notice you know how someone moves in the pocket as well as the fact I think it's difficult to practice you can't really just go into practice mode and say I'm gonna pop I'm gonna practice my pocket presence you can't go into a lab game with a friend uh, you know wanting to work on your pocket presence it's just something that happens organically in the moment and you just have to kind of you know mold your reactions to it and it comes down to a lot of instinct and repetition I think uh, but right here you're gonna see problem with some amazing pocket presence so getting right into it here let me go ahead and lower the volume so this isn't too loud for you guys uh, maybe get a little bit but alright so problem on offense gun wing trio weak out of the New Orleans Saints playbook Mo on defense obviously a nickel flipped you can see uh, the nickel back off of that right edge right there and you can bet uh, that uh, this guy right here is probably who's going to be bringing the pressure you know coming off this edge so uh, that's something problems gonna have in mind as soon as he snaps the ball so you're gonna see baby motion by the tight end by problem to pick up that pressure actually off the right edge and you can see already on the outsides uh, kind of what Mo was doing both wide receivers on the outside being pressed man-to-man -man coverage it looks like both the problems receivers did a good job getting off of the press and then what you see right here is a cross man attempt right here on problems receiver who's actually running a seam route and then you've got Mo using over the middle problem actually one of the four verticals play right here uh, where you know you got fades on the outsides you have a seam route going down the middle and then he's got his running back out the backfield on a little speed in route uh, that's gonna cut really quickly but something even more important to notice is the pass rush that you see right here from Sirius Mo so Sirius Mo rushing five right here problem did a good job of being able to pick up that pressure off the right edge with that tight end motion to block that nickel back blitzing but what you're gonna see is Mo's gonna have kinda guys coming in here obviously you see a double team two one-on-one -on -one blocks right here so it's important to notice kinda how the pockets already developing if your problem if you're looking at it from problems point of view you can basically make the argument that he should pretty much step up in one of two areas right he should either step up right here or he should step up right here you're gonna see he ends up stepping up right here which is actually uh, the right choice to make even though stepping up you know in this area right here seems like it might be the more intuitive choice so you're gonna see as the play rolls problem steps up now this is already amazing because most Madden players 99% of Madden players right here in this situation even though they block the pressure off that right edge they're gonna get antsy and like take off out here uh, what I'm, I'm serious like 90% of people would have done this and not stepped up would have just held right trigger and probably took off right here and what would have happened is this guy would have disengaged and probably either got a sack or a quarterback hit which would have resulted in you know problems quarterback either fumbling or throwing a duck downfield or something of that nature but problem went instead of doing that instead of panicking he stepped up in the pocket went right between these two guys right between his left guard and left tackle steps up right there and you're gonna see uh, when the play rolls a little more or why that's important he chose that hole rather than the one straight up the middle so right here he steps up and you can see okay he's releasing the ball you see both of his blockers he kind of got fortunate here both of his blockers held their blocks for a really long time neither of the guys disengaged but notice where uh, this guy is at where this guy got the block shed right here for serious mo this is exactly where problems qb would have been if in the previous frame if we go back uh after he snaps the ball okay he's rolling left if problem would have stepped up right here he would have ended up right where that guy got the block shed at right there and he probably would have got hit and um probably wouldn't have gotten the throw off either would have resulted in a sack fumble who knows what could have happened he could have got hit a Mo's defender user defender is right there he could have thrown it you know straight to Mo's user defender point being if problem had stepped up and taken kind of the more intuitive route right there up the middle 
uh, he would have ended up getting hit and wouldn't have gotten this throw off because this defender right here ended up getting the block shed. But instead, problem went with the outside release. Kind of the more narrow choice between the left tackle and left guard. Ended up paying off for him. He didn't get any block sheds. So like I said, pretty fortunate for problem. But because of the fact he didn't get any block sheds out there, it put him in a position where he was able to deliver this throw away from the guy who did get a block shed. So you're going to see... As the play rolls, problem actually gets somewhat fortunate here. Randy Moss gets an aggressive catch over Paul Krause right there in almost double coverage. But basically, I mean, that's a 50, 60 yard swing right there for problem. And, you know, that doesn't happen if it wasn't for uh, this pocket presence right here. If it wasn't for him uh, kind of being able to feel the pocket, not panic, not immediately sprint away from the pressure, but rather step up in the pocket, keep his composure, keep his feet set. And that allows his quarterback to deliver like a 60-yard bomb downfield to Randy Moss. So something that's super, super important. And like I said, you can't really practice it. It just kind of comes with repetition. But it is easier to get better at if it's something you do pay attention to and notice. I know I'm not even the best at, uh, or I'm not the best at anything. But my pocket presence could definitely use improvement. And it's something I know uh, that I do need to improve a part of my game in. So uh, if you keep it in mind and think about it, I think it is easier to improve, but it all comes down to repetition at the end of the day, in my opinion. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully, if some of you guys didn't consider pocket presence a super important part of Madden, uh, this video will kind of shed some light on why it is essential, one of the more underrated skills, in my opinion. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and until next time, guys, take it easy. Oh, <laughs>